Hello, I'm Simon Whistler. You're watching Today I Found Out, and in the video today, we're looking at whether Mountain Dew really lowers sperm counts. Just before we get started, I do want to say that this video is brought to you by Masterclass. Masterclass is a place where you can learn from the greatest minds in the world. Whether you want to learn writing from Aaron Sorkin or Malcolm Gladwell or cooking from Gordon Ramsay, Masterclass is where you can do it. Get a free seven day trial through the link in the description below. Now you might be thinking that a pack of three condoms costs about five dollars and Mountain Dew is only one dollar ninety nine cents for the two litre bottle, so why not save yourself three dollars on contraception? Well, think again, because contrary to a popular long standing rumour, Mountain Dew has never been shown to lower your sperm count. Indeed, it's not been shown to kill any sperm whatsoever or make your penis smaller or shrivel up your testicles, unless it's ice cold and placed directly on said testicles. Alright, so as to how this rumor got started, nobody really knows for sure, though the rumor seems to go back to at least the 1990s, if not further. While studies have pretty thoroughly debunked this idea over the years, it nonetheless persists. Indeed, the most commonly cited reasons why Mountain Dew supposedly lowers sperm count are its relatively high amount of caffeine and its use of yellow dye number no. 5, also known as tartrazine. Alright, so let's start with the caffeine here. Mountain Dew contains 54 milligrams of caffeine in a 12 ounce can. That might seem like a lot since Coke has 34 milligrams per 12 ounces. Dr. Pepper has 41 and Pepsi has 38, by the way. However, if caffeine was truly the cause, drinking coffee would also have to be out. The average cup of drip coffee has 217 milligrams per 12 ounces, which is about four times as much as Mountain Dew. So for comparison's sake, Mountain Dew doesn't contain very much caffeine compared to other things many people commonly drink. Now, the idea that caffeine affects the chances of having a baby is actually mildly backed up by good science. For example, there have been several studies that show that women who drink three or more cups of coffee a day have a decreased chance of becoming pregnant. Pregnant. Unfortunately, the exact nature of why caffeine affects conception rates in women is actually unknown. Because those who drink high amounts of caffeine also tend to have unhealthier lifestyles, many of the studies cite lifestyle as the reason and not necessarily the caffeine itself. And it's worth pointing out here that when you do read any study, it is really worth remembering that correlation does not equal causation. Now, on the other side of things, the idea that caffeine intake affects sperm in some way seems to be dose related. The Chemical Health Hazard Assessment Division of the Canadian Bureau of Chemical Safety, and yes, that's really their name, reviewed all the current studies on the subject and found that if a man drank one or two cups of coffee per day, he would have an increase in his sperm motility, the ability of the sperm to move, as well as its density. If you drank four or more cups and also smoked more than one pack of cigarettes per day, your sperm's motility and density would decrease. The study concluded that only heavy smokers need to worry about drinking too much coffee and then having sperm problems. The authors did go on to state, though, that even if they had these sperm problems, it would probably not significantly affect their fertility. Thus, at least based on these studies, it would appear you have to drink about 11 cans of Mountain Dew or a similar amount of other popular caffeinated soft drinks and smoke over 20 cigarettes in a day before your sperm would be affected. But even then, the actual effect on fertility rates probably isn't going to significantly change. But caffeine isn't the only commonly cited culprit here, so now let's look at the other proposed cause of sperm problems and Mountain Dew. Tartrazine, which is also known as yellow dye number no. 5. Tartrazine has been used in food, ice creams, drugs, and many other products since 1916. Most all of tartrazine you put in your body will come out in your urine. Very little is actually metabolized by our bodies. As to the topic at hand, the European Food Safety Authority reevaluated the effects of tartrazine in 2009. What they found was that there are no adverse effects on reproduction or development from consuming tartrazine. They they even tested people at a rate of 1,225 milligrams per kilogram and still found no adverse effects. So for a 175 pound 80 kilogram person, that's 97,443 milligrams. It would simply be impossible to drink enough Mountain Dew to exceed these levels. Sperm effects aside, the FDA does recommend that we should only ingest 5 mg per kilogram per day of yellow dye No. 5. This has nothing to do with reproduction worries, but more about allergic reactions. 
There is a small percentage of the population which is allergic to yellow dye number 5. About 1 in 10,000 people get hives, according to the FDA. The Center for Science in the Public Interest notes that tartrazine is found in so many products, from Kraft macaroni and cheese and Doritos to shampoos and hand stamps, that the average daily consumption is approximately 12.75 milligrams. At these levels, there is still no worries about sperm production, just allergy concerns. In the end, Mountain Dew will not affect your sperm, your testes, or your penis size. If you do want to ignore all scientific evidence to the contrary, we suggest besides ensuring the guy drinks copious amounts of Mountain Dew, you should also make the woman jump up and down several times and then douche herself with Coca-Cola after copulation. There is no way she could possibly get pregnant then. Just before we get into the bonus fact for today's episode, let me tell you a bit about Masterclass. Masterclass is the place where you can learn from the greatest minds in the world. Whether you want to cook a perfect meal, take a stunning picture, or write a powerful story, Masterclass is the place to do it with instructors like Gordon Ramsay, Annie Leibovitz, and Malcolm Gladwell. Three fingers down. And this beautiful knuckle is the guiding light across that knife. Masterclass are currently offering a free seven-day trial for our viewers, and you can access that by clicking the link in the description below. With that, you can watch any of their classes for free for seven days, and with the quality of their instructors, I'm sure it's going to be a great fit for you. And just in case you're wondering, it is far more than just writing and cooking. They even have poker experts and sports people on their platform, so they really do cover a whole lot of stuff. I'm going to teach you tournament strategy, continuation betting, picking up tells. So this tell has probably made me the most money. Again, check out Masterclass for free through the link in the description below. And thanks to Masterclass for sponsoring this video. And thank you for watching. And now for some bonus facts. According to the World Health Organization, the average ejaculation contains approximately 100 million sperm cells. If you have less than 20 million per milliliter, you are at risk of fertility issues. And now for another bonus fact. Even though Mountain Dew doesn't affect sperm, temperature absolutely does. Optimal sperm production requires specific temperatures. It's for this reason that when men get too cold, as in the case of swimming in a cold pool, the testes retract back closer to the body. Conversely, when they get too warm, the body allows them to hang lower via the cremaster muscle. Several studies point to the optimum temperature for testes being 35 to 36 degrees Celsius. For reference here, the body's normal temperature is around 37 degrees C. The warmer your testes, the greater chance your sperm will have damage. So keep your laptop off your lap and your heated car seats on low. And by the way, it takes approximately two and a half to three months for a single sperm cell to mature, so if you're looking to make some babies and maximize sperm quality, you have to be conscientious of not only diet and exercise, but also the temperature of your testes for many months leading up to the big event. So I really hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, please do hit that thumbs up button and don't forget to subscribe. Also, just let me thank Masterclass again for sponsoring this video. And as always, thank you for watching.